We're at Mayflower Terminal. At the moment, we've got the Queen Mary in. I'm the general manager of cruise and passenger services. All these jobs are, are timed on sort of windows, and if you don't meet the windows, then something's going to be left off. So today, we had a good start, and most of the stores are on, actually. We're doing very well. It, it got alongside about 8 o'clock, and it should leave around about 5 o'clock tonight. That'd be fully stored up, and uh, with about 2,600 passengers on it, uh, ready to go off to New York. So it's, it's all time factors and more time we can save these ships, the more fuel they save. So it's all a, a knock on situation where if you've got the equipment, the right equipment, then it's, a, it's beneficial. We normally get the baggage off by crane down 38 berth, which is an original QE2 berth where it normally goes. Uh, and this is the second time it's ever come here uh, on this 106 berth. Uh, and we actually discharge it with fork trucks. Uh, they particularly bought it up here because of that. Uh, we, we turn around that much quicker uh, and it was actually the Queen Mary, three and a half hours late and put back on time. The actual passengers got off the normal time that they would have to get their luggage to go and everything went on song because we used the right machinery up here again. The captain was so pleased, I mean not only did he come here and keep hugging me, he also gave me a bottle as well, which is very nice, which we shared amongst the men of course. We've got a cage operation which is uh, baggage actually comes off by cages and we use our fork trucks to actually get the baggage off the ships. Uh, we actually use tally trucks, so the best and most versatile fork truck I've worked with for some time. And we find it very quick, it expands it very fast. It's, it's a nice machine, really nice machine. We use the JCB fork um, for all our operations on loading cages on all the ships, on the uh, Golden Princess, the Sea Princess. Uh, most of the p and ships now are cage operations and we use JCBs to get them off there. We must have the reach, so the uh, JCB tally truck is the ideal fork for that. But because of the reach, it's 2.5 metres out. We unload lorries, a lot of lorries. We, we load them from one side and unload them. Uh, on our stores, uh, our record on the actual storage on a P&O vessel is 344 tonnes. So, I mean, that's uh, a lot of tonnage. And they get offloaded by uh, fork trucks on one side, which we use the JCB and that cuts down on, uh, you know, we don't need so much room because we can put the lorries against the wall or near the water and we just operate on the one side and it's a uh, it's very slick operation. On the conventional forks you'll find that they can't actually reach across so normally they, they would have to open curtains both sides but with the JCB you don't need to do that, you can go straight across the lorry bed and just take off in one movement which is safer, faster. The cages weigh roughly a ton, and these, uh, these machines actually pick them up on their full stretch out, which is good. There's about 175 cages to come off, uh, and they're full up with baggage straight to the top, weighing about a ton. So speed is essential. It's very tight, and it, it, a big machine wouldn't operate uh, in that distance. It, it, it's just getting in the way of each other. With the uh, tele trucks, uh, we've done it in 45 minutes. Uh, when they use the conventional cranes, two hours to two and a half hours, uh, discharge. The main thing is to get our ships away on time. Uh, they, they won't leave no earlier because they've got a time slot, but it's, it's making sure the ships are ready to move, and uh, we always do. We've been the best turnaround port now for the last four years, and now we've also got best turnaround port in Europe. So it's having the equipment and using it the right way. Everything moves fast, uh, you know, but safely. The main thing is to, to, to do the right job, you've got to have the right equipment. And I feel that we've got the right equipment. So the conventional fork is for us really, even though we use them as a thing of the past.